which for you, what would be your like dream career path that you feel like is even realistic? You like, not everyone's going to become Taylor Swift, but like if you, something that's, we'll say just beyond your scope of what you believe you could do, like what's your dream? I don't know what this hybrid would be. It's the same thing that I've always wanted. It's something between like creating meaningful things and deep connection with people. Mm. So in my brain, I'm just, um, I'm not quite sure how to formulate that into a thing. I think sharing artistic experiences with people has always just without fail resulted in this deep sense of just like, okay, this feels like a thing I'm meant to be doing. Mm -hmm. And so I can think of both art exhibit experiences and um, live music experiences Mm -hmm. where that sense of meaning is just really confirmed to me. What that would look like in a like realistic career oriented scenario, I'm not really sure. Yeah. (laughs) But I think I am pretty attentive at this point to trying to build those into my life more habitually yeah. than I have done. There is, I'm sure there's lots of ways, especially with the internet nowadays, that you could have Scary like an place. online store. Yeah. Sell yeah. your art. Because, I mean, you could totally make good money selling stuff like this. And not that it's all about Thanks, money, man. but like, you know, finding The a necessities way to, of life. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What makes um, it sustainable. That's a part of myself I've really had to wrestle with because mm-hmm. I th- I'd say that's something I want to say I've lost. Mm. Really, again, I think it's just heavily tempered, but I still have a deep apprehension, if I'm really honest, when it comes to selling things for actual money. Mm-hmm. That feeling of commercializing a thing yes. that is like innately in my soul. And like, no, this is just soulful. This is just, um, for me, if I can connect people with a sense of beauty, that's that's just loving people the mm-hmm. way that I know how to best. Uh-huh. And so I've always had this deep, like, horrible apprehension oh, I, about monetizing I things that I'm just like, no, they're just here because they matter. Mm-hmm. That's all I want them to be. Uh-huh. So maybe I'm growing towards that better. And I have done it, uh-huh. but with great pain. <laughs> yeah, no, I completely understand. I still really want to make a, uh, like a, a film that's self-produced and everything real low budget and initially my dream was like i can make this i can just put it on youtube and like see what happens and maybe that's what i'll do but then the more i've thought about it, i've been like man but then i don't know there is maybe there is something helpful to monetizing something because if you're monetizing it it means that people who are professional at getting stuff out or like putting it out into the world maybe better than you could and that's almost what you're paying right. and i still hate the idea of someone like paying for, uh, like, I, w- I just want everyone to be able to see it. I don't want there to be any paywall. Um, but yeah, so it's hard. I, I don't know. I don't have any any answers for you there, but I can relate. Yeah, no, and that's been, I've had to start looking at things in terms of like sustainability and resources. Mm-hmm. And if if people investing in your art is what mobilizes your art to accomplish what it's out there to do, Mm -hmm. which is reach people, um, to whatever degree of excellence you can let it be Mm -hmm. (laughs) um, and exist at, then it's, it doesn't have to be a bad, not wholesome thing Mm -hmm. for there to be like actual funds behind your project. We would just maybe like for those to magically appear without having to like, (laughs) Uh-huh. Ask people for it mm-hmm. <laughs> or demand Anyone it. just wants to make a charitable donation. It could just be a gift from the universe. Yes. A sign that what we're doing is right. Yes. <laughs> Deserves to exist. 